Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing a video on my micro chest rig. I did a video on the IFAC itself and that got a lot of attention. I replaced what I needed to out of there. I've added a second tourniquet to this and I uh, put some sea locks in there. So it's got a hemostatic agent now so that's good to go. So we're going to go over the rest of this kit today. For starters, when it comes, you won't have these pouches on the sides. They Velcro into the back right there. This piece right here pulls off. You slide the little piece in behind it and it's good to go. But for starters, I run, it's got four 30 round magazines here. So you got 120 rounds right there. Another 30 in the gun, so you've got 150. You throw a belt set up on, you got another 30 to 60 rounds. I mean, that's that's a decent a bit for a micro setup. But then on this wing over here, I've got the Kenwood 8 watt radio. I finally got around to uh, zip tying my cables up the back and down the uh, left shoulder so that I can still shoulder my rifle on my strong side. Still going to be a little weird on the weak side, but you can't have it all, really. Moving forward to the placard itself. On my strong side, I've got a, an Ozark Trail Multi-Tool. I like to keep the cheap tools on my kit, and then I keep my Gerber Multi-Tool in my cargo pocket, or in my pants pocket, sorry, as well as a good flashlight and all that jazz. Then on my weak side... I've got one pistol reload for a Glock 19 because that's what I carry. 115 grain hollow points, uh, Winchester silver tips. There's nothing fancy there. Got a couple patches on the front. Moving into the admin pouch, I've got a can of snuff. paracord cotton bandana We've got the Gerber 06 fast it's not a big blade not a fighting blade but it's good for utilitarian tasks I mean on top of the multi-tool I mean, that's more than enough blade for this setup. Next, you got a mini Bic, because fire's always cool. A right in the rain notepad, and a mechanical pencil to go with that. I should probably order some of uh, the right in the rain pens at some point when I get around to it. I got some duct tape wrapped around an old gift card. Plenty of that there. Got this case with earplugs in it. I do have electronic ear pro, but I've been saving up for better electronic ear pro, which is why I carry spares. On top of that, you never know. My ear pro at the moment, I'm using the uh, like $30 Caldwell's, waiting to get some uh, Peltor single comps. Got two CR123s because that's what the HLX takes up there. One glow stick. Got a compass right here, which reminds me I need to put maps in this admin pouch because a compass without maps you got a general direction, that's about it. And then last but not least, I've got two AAA batteries, which is what my Ear Pro takes. This is my Ear Pro, if you were wondering, the Caldwells. You can see they've been pretty well used. They've uh, held up in some rain, some light rain. I don't, I don't dive with my Ear Pro on. That's I haven't had an opportunity to shoot when it was piss pouring the rain, but they've held up through everything I've put it through, and I'm happy with them. 
So that's my micro chest rig setup. If you have any questions, if there's something I didn't touch on, drop it in the comment section below. I appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. I'm Coyote, and thank you for watching.